Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play The Raven, Legacy of a Master Thief. When last we left off, Constable Zelna was just helping to uh, solve the murder of the Baroness who died uh, the previous night. He had also been drugged by, we believe, something in the uh, champagne. And without further ado, we have to go to Dr. Gebhardt in the medical center to go and get the bullet. The bullet that killed the Baroness. Let us see how he is doing, eh? Come in. We shall. Hello, Doctor. Hello, Dr. Gebhardt. Hmm. And there's the next one. Mm -hmm. Excuse me? You want something else from me, don't you? I'm afraid I do. What a first day at work. Well... He doesn't seem particularly happy to see me, but then again, indeed, not a great first day at work. Also, that sideways glance he gave us when we came in. Is he hiding something? Something else apart from the body, that is, from a view from Zelna. What's the result of your examination of the victim? She is dead. I didn't make you work all night long, Dr. Gebhardt. <sighs> she was shot. Point blank shot. Probably with a pistol. Probably? It seems like she was lying in bed. The shot struck her heart. She died immediately. One shot? More were unnecessary. And we only heard one shot, no? No. And there's just one entrance wound. Just one. No, we heard two shots. We heard a shot earlier in the night. I am told that I was drugged. That's how it seems. Hmm. What can you tell me about it? Me? W yes. Why should that be my business? Haven't you analyzed the glass? No, I haven't. The inspector said he's the better chemist. I let him do it. That way I could at least concentrate on the body. Hmm. Indeed. You were a little surprised, though, uh, Gebhardt, to be asked about the, uh, the glass. A little curious to note. Do you think the Baroness might have been drugged? She was very tired and unsteady when Legrand and I saw her. Hmm. Yeah, I heard about that. I must have just missed her in the saloon. And without having seen her myself, it is hard to make a diagnosis. Of course. Can you say something about her general health? She was quite overweight, and the butler said that she suffered from diabetes. Despite that, she hadn't visited a doctor for several years. Doesn't sound good. Happens more frequently than you might suppose. Some people are scared of doctors and pay with an early death. It is possible that the Baroness wouldn't have lived much longer anyway. Oh? Hmm. Well, let's ask about the bullet, I guess. Although it is very... odd that you didn't spot the Baroness, considering the fact that you were pretty much in the room when we went in. And there's only one other way in. We'd have probably spotted you if you'd have gone in that way, wouldn't we? Have you already removed the bullet? Did Legrand send you? What is that Frenchman's problem? Mm -hmm. I already told you. I will get in touch as soon as I have it. That is also what I told the constable, who he kept sending all night long, once I finally got rid of Legrand himself. Did he look over your shoulder? He probably wanted to take the scalpel from my hand and hack away himself. Mm. But this is my surgery. And I will not let amateurs interfere with my work. That's understandable. How much longer will it take? Ugh. I have just finished. Oh, good. Send my regards to His Majesty. Thank you. Thanks. I think that's it for now. No. That is it for now, then... And later, oh? I'm going to lie down for a few hours. Can you tell that to your boss? But... Hmm. Could I at least have the key? Absolutely not. But if we have to examine the victim again, 
then the esteemed inspector knows where to find me. In my cabin. In bed. Good night, Constable Zellner. Why do I get the feeling that we are not entirely welcome here? Neither Dr. Gebhardt nor Constable Oliver can keep up with Legrand's pace. But in contrast to good old Robert, the doctor doesn't let himself get roped in for the long haul. I wonder what would happen if Legrand dragged him out of bed for another investigation. We can't enter Dr. the Dr. Gebhardt locked the door, and until I have good reason, I won't wake him up. Something tells me that he wouldn't be amused. Yeah, he definitely wouldn't be amused. Let's have a look at that bullet. That's the bullet from the Baroness's corpse. I don't know much about guns. Legrand will be able to tell me more about it. Fair enough. Let's enter Legrand's cabin. Pass him the bullet that he was, uh, waiting for. Come in. Alright. Hello, Legrand. How are you? We have the bullet for you. Constable? Hello. Tranquilizer. About the tranquilizer. Who gave you the glass of champagne? It was Captain De Conti. You're sure? He doesn't deny it, but he also says that the glasses passed through many hands that night and that everyone had access to the champagne. So it could have been anyone. Maybe the question isn't who put the poison in the glass, but rather who it was they wanted to poison. Smart. And who were they trying to poison? Dr. Gebhardt? The captain got the glass from him. Hmm. hmm. An unconscious ship's doctor. That sounds like it would be more used to a murderer than a drugged constable. True. You think so? Did the murderer have reason to assume that his shot might not kill the victim immediately and, and that Dr. Gebhardt would be able to save her? You're right. That's improbable. It is. <laughs> My ego is just searching for reasons for them to want to kill her and not me. Good job, Zelna. Thank you. Here's the bullet. About the bullet. Here it is. Excellent. Give it to me. As I suspected. A 7.65 Parabellum Luger. Hmm. Don't you want to examine it in more detail? Indeed. When I have time. For now, though, we can assume that we have the murder weapon. There can't be too many antique Luger 08 pistols on board. True. May I take a look at the Baroness's cabin? We already searched it thoroughly. Sure. But what about now, by daylight? Yes, yes, fine, it can't hurt. Okay. Here, take this with you. All right. Thanks. I'll let you know if I find anything important. <laughs> Indeed. But only then, please. I'm very busy. Of course. Will do. I don't like the fact that he's not examining the bullet very carefully. Why do I get the feeling he's not going to examine it very carefully at all? Hmm. Anything changed up here? No. Nothing has changed up here. Just have a quicker walk around just to make sure no, uh... NPCs have appeared that they uh, that weren't there before. Before we go into the cabin, well, the easiest way is to go this way, double clicking. There is no one here, and is there also no one on the main deck that's different? Such a nice cruise as well. Nice weather. Shame Zelna is uh, not allowed to enjoy it. Anyone here? No, there is no one here yet. They must all be below deck. Fair enough. And he is not gonna let us in there, that's for sure. Not as it stands right now. We would have to distract him. Although how to distract the constable is another question entirely, because as you can see, he is a uh, diligent uh, watchman. Have a look at this, sir. Uh... Oh, we can't really examine it. These oh, little can. sachets contain the evidence we've collected. At least the evidence that fits in little sachets. True enough. 
Let's crack the seal on the crime scene. This is the first murder scene I've ever set foot in. Hmm. Indeed. Let's have a look. Well, there's a lot of things to examine. Let's examine the portable cupboard first. The most unportable portmanteau I've ever seen. What's in there? A portable bar is more like oh? it. Oh? Must be hard work transporting this big, heavy thing halfway around the globe. And the Baroness was lucky that the other freight cars were only lightly damaged by the explosion. Hmm. An impressive piece. But I don't think it'll get me anywhere with the murder investigations. Hmm. What about the notepad? That might get me somewhere in the murder investigations. Hmm. The notepad has the ship's emblem on it. I suppose all the first class cabins have them. Hmm. We can apparently move the pencil over it. Ah! Inspector. Be in the saloon at 10 p.m. There is a murderer on board. I will expose him? Hmm. That... That is... Definitely something. I'm not sure how much more I actually need to... There we go. Hmm. It says, Inspector. Be in the saloon at 10 p.m. There is a murderer on board, and I will expose him. B. The Baroness seems to have known the murderer. And that means that the Raven can't be the murderer. He never killed anybody. Legrand probably never got the message. Otherwise, he'd have said something. Hmm. Well, that's something. That's a piece of evidence. What about the, uh, the vase here? A big, ugly, and impractical vase. If it had a wider opening, one could at least use it as an umbrella stand. Okay. Hmm. Anything in there, Zelda? Can't see anything. Wow. Heavier than it looks. Oh. Aha. There's something in there, isn't there? Why were the down feathers tossed in the vase? Or is there anything else in there? Well, I probably can't get whatever's in there. There may be something else in the vase, but the neck is too narrow to reach in with my hand. Let's take a look under the bed, shall we? Just in case there's anything there. Something's under there. Hmm. Down feathers. Maybe from a quilt or a pillow. Nothing special. Although, it seems like one of the feathers was scorched at the top. Literally burnt. Oh. Mm. I'll take it with me. That is something. What about the, uh, the cupboard? Let's examine that. Hello? Hmm. A tape recorder. Must go with the built-in speakers. Probably part of the cabin's furnishings. Let's uh, examine it. The tape recorder is older than the hills, but it was once very expensive. Top of the range. And it doesn't come cheap. Hmm. Strange. What is? There's only one reel. Must have been and it's the wrong one. Oh. No. No sign of the original reel. Hmm. A reel made by Zeibling. I know the brand. Zeibling's tapes can be overwritten many times without losing quality. They're used in offices so that executives can record messages for the secretaries on the same tape over and over again. Hmm. But they're not good for much else. They're robust, but they don't offer much in terms of sound quality. I think we shall take it. Is there anything else on here? There is the, uh, the bed. We could examine that. 
There's still blood on the mattress. Hmm. The sheet and the blanket have already been removed. To analyze them, I suppose. Do we have anything that we can... No, we can't take a sample. Can't take a sample with the sachet. Could search the bed again, I guess. Nothing interesting? No? Hmm, nothing. Okay, nothing interesting. Could ex Ah, we can examine the blood spot now. The blood spot is the only sign that someone committed a crime in here. Hmm, somehow... Doesn't... That's odd. Hmm? The blood is so... red. Shouldn't it gradually darken in the air? Turn brown? Hmm. That's unusual. The mannequin surely came with the cabin. A mannequin for the Baroness's clothes would have a more generous figure. There is only one more thing we can really examine, and that is the uh, the luggage. Apparently, the Baroness didn't have time to unpack her bags. Hmm. Or rather, didn't have time to tell her butler to unpack them for her. Well, let's examine the luggage. Hmm. Sifting through all that would take ages. But here, the Baroness's handbag. Aha! A diary? A small leather-bound book. 1964 is engraved on it. This must be the Baroness's diary. We should probably read that. Cosmetics, a handkerchief, a spectacles case, nothing special. Let's read the diary. Let's see. There might be clues. Yes, it's a diary, all right. Mm -hmm. Difficult to read. Okay. No entry from yesterday. A brief... Sober description of what she's done recently. Met Morris. Arranged benefit concert for renovation of Louvre Southeastern Wing. The book Times is very static. photo shoot for Eye of Sphinx. B.M. Poor excuse for photographer. Too fidgety. Hmm. And so on. Hmm. Hmm. This entry looks strange. The handwriting is shaky, difficult to read. Dreamt of Bobby. Yesterday would have been his birthday. Next week, Jay's. Hmm. hmm. Also, did you notice I, I mentioned it uh, during the conversation there? But the um, the book remained entirely static while he moved. The portholes face the side deck. If someone climbed out of the cabin through a porthole, Legrand and I would have seen them. Hmm. Hmm. The portholes are locked. One cannot open or close them from outside. It's the same problem as with the door. If someone left the cabin through the porthole, how did they lock it? And Indeed. the Baroness wasn't shot from outside. The doctor said she was shot at close range. Hmm. The Baroness was a very busy woman, and it looks like she had to cope with loss. She writes about Bubby and Jay. Neither seem to be alive anymore. Hmm. Almost every family lost loved ones in the war. Maybe hers as well. Well, when we come back, folks, we have little more to explore here. And we shall continue to search for the uh, clues for who the murderer was. So I get the feeling that uh, Legrand may have ideas of his own. We'll take the diary, I think. I'll leave it there. Oh. I don't have time to read all of it. True. Catch you next time, folks. I'll see you then. Later. <laughs>